That's right, Erica. It was a very tough conversation, very difficult for them, especially because they had to talk about those that are accused. Desiree Figueroa, Clarissa Figueroa, who, has, who are charged with murder. Also, Peter Bobek, who's charged with hiding this murder. Now they're asking for justice. The Ochoa family and Marlene's husband were accompanied by community activists as they walked into the criminal court building. They wanted answers regarding the murder of Marlene. I think the most important lesson that our authorities need to learn and that what we need to do tangibly is create mechanisms to where things like this never happen again. The family met with representatives and a sergeant from the Chicago Police Department for more than two and a half hours and discussed the timeline of the case, asked nearly 30 questions and raised concerns. Most were not answered concretely because the case is ongoing and the investigation is still ongoing. It was more of a meeting to present these issues to them and make sure that while they do this investigation, all of them get answered eventually. The pregnant 19 year old mother was savagely killed and her baby ripped from her wound on April 23rd inside this home in the 4100 block of 71st place in Chicago. Pues ahora sí que justicia más que nada. Meanwhile, Marlene's mother Raquel told us she attended today's meeting to demand justice for her daughter. That's right. The advocates tell me that the next meeting with the Chicago Police Department has been postponed for another date that has not been determined. We're live outside the Cook County Criminal Court building. Cesar Rodriguez, CBS2 News. Erica, Jim, thank okay. you. Cesar, thank you.